What's up, friendos? It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG, and we're here to open up Throne of Eldraine for the first time on the channel. Well, I guess we opened a Collector's Edition booster pack, but this is the first time we're opening a booster box of this set. Welcome to part one of the Booster Box Club for November. If you are not a Booster Box Club member and you wish to become one, all you have to do is go to Patreon, the link down below, and click on the tier, if you're in the United States, the $10 tier Booster Box Club. Or if you are international from the United States, you can click on the $12 Booster Box Club, and then boom, you're on the list. So as long as your payments process, you will then get monthly loot from the Booster Box Club. Now, what will part two be? Well, you'll have to wait and see. So all I know, and all I can tell you as of right now, uh oh, this is gonna be hard to open, I think. Your, um, this is part one, so there is another booster box to be opened that, that'll be part two, and all of it is shared between all of the different patrons in those specific tiers. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what are we looking for? Uh, Questing Beast, Oko, um... Basically, we want mythics, we want foils, and we want really nice uh, altered, bordered cards um, because they're pretty and uh, they're nice to look at. So let's see what we can't get. Again, all these packs. Oh, these are tough. Oh, okay, we got this. Now we got to get that figured out. I'm going to have to alter my way of opening. So anyway, these are for Booster Box Club members. Nice fairy to start. And then, oh, a Fabled Passage is the first pull. It's like a $12-ish card. Luckily, we have an editor, and he can tell us. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, we'll put the special arts up top. So the editor can tell us uh, how much each of the mythics, the rares, and the foils are. Again, it's going to take me a minute to get used to this uh, way of opening Packs. Wish Claw Talisman. Uh, and then another. Is a second uncommon? Is it always? I guess I should probably check these to see. Are there specials in here? At least if they are, there hasn't been any yet. I'll get a routine. Ooh, okay. So we already got our foil rare mirror made. Look at how shiny that is. So one of our Booster Box Club members will get that. We also have a Castle Lothwain. Lothwain. And, okay, so the second uncommon is not always a special art. And we still don't have a special border art thing in the commons. Okay, see, I told you I'd get the hang of it. Food token, swamp. All right, Stormfist Crusader is the rare. No specials. Oh man, that works really well. See, we got it going. Oh, and a questing beast. We got him right here, like 20 to $23 or so. Um, at least last I looked. I don't sit and watch what uh, prices things are. But we got our first mythic and it's a good one. And um, no special borders in there. So we got special borders in the first two packs, and now none. Ooh, a foil special border smitten sword master. Okay. All right, so there's going to be a lot of different piles here. Now we have a wildborn preserver. That's, that's played. Blade is good, right? No specials. No specials. So far, I am digging this box. A Foil Order of Midnight. It's played. It's played. It's nice. It's a foil. It's not a foil rare like that. I guess we put it in the same pile. And a Love Struck Beast Rare Special Art. I do believe special art anyway. All right. Um, 
special art scope there. It's going to take me a while to get used to all the different piles. I love this set. I, it's just so nice to look at. It just is. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Is this normal? I don't know. Maybe. Another foil. Savvy Hunter. A folio of fancies. This is the rare. Uncommons. Nothing special. Do, 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 do. And done. Okay, so that token we had a minute ago is not special because here's another one. Swamp. Another foil. Barge in and a castle emberth. We have yet to find a common with a special border. So maybe that's not in packs like this. Maybe those are only in the collector's boosters. Here's a Gilded Goose. Not bad. Ooh, another special art. Order of Midnight. Okay, okay. And it just doesn't seem right to where we're getting... So we're getting special border art cards in the uncommon slot, but not in the common slot. So I, th I would think it would have already happened by now. But hey, you know what? Some crazier things have happened. Murderous Rider, love it. Great card. And boom, another special art. And another dud in the commons as far as specials go. So by now, I think it's safe to say that they don't exist. I'll keep checking in each pack. Just to be safe. Hey, there we go. Van Tress Gargoyle. That's played in those crazy blue decks. The mill decks out there, I think, play that. <clears throat> so due to the order in which the cards are in these packs, I think this is uh, manufactured out of the United States. I think that's how that works. Ooh, another foil rare. Another foil rare. And it's a played one, so that's pretty nice. Daddy. Yes, sir. Oh, you broke your pencil? No, Pooh did that. On purpose? Yeah, Pooh did that. Pooh well, did that with mine. Well, put, this in my, put that in my, my box and just use a different one, okay? Thank you. So this is nice. A Wicked Wolf. Okay, when I'm done, okay? So this is a really good pack, and I'll leave it at that since the co-host decided to barge in here and no specials in there. It's pretty sweet that we got a foil special. We'll call them specials here on this channel. Castle Ardvendale will take it. Hey Coco, can you shut my door? Return of the Wild Speaker. Oh, you did get a banana, even though I told you to wait. Oh, how nice of you to wait for me. Would you like me to open it for you? Yeah, but I don't want to. Right. So this is what it's like to be a dad and try to also, you know, be a content creator. You got to give and you got to take. Here you go, buddy. You can just go ahead and drop it. That's great. <clears throat> okay, and you can drop it a second time. That's good. It's okay. Well done. Lothwain Gargoyle okay, foil. And a Aaron Crag feet. I haven't even seen that one yet. It must not be played. I think what we'll do is stop looking at the commons and I'll just kind of go through them after we're done opening the packs. Hey, Coco. A acclimated contender. No specials. A foil giant opportunity and a sundering stroke. Let me close this door. That's right, Cohen helps us have longer videos. More content for you. 
a festering troll king and no specials where's oko foil crystal slipper ooh and a special fay of wishes that is very very nice two special rares in this box thus far will there be more Giant Killer, I've seen that played. All right, there's a Mythic in this pack, statistically speaking. <laughs> oh, man. So funny. Brazen Borrower, we did get a, uh, a Mythic, as I said we would. Uh, I must open enough boxes to know when they're coming. Uh, when I filmed with... Uh, Patrick from uh, Booster Therapy, we kind of went over that too, about statistics and when to call your shots. Piper of the Swarm. Really excited for y'all to be here also for part two of this Booster Box Club special event. Usually it's just one episode for a month, but you're getting two this time, happily ever after. Uh, we need Once Upon a Time still don't we? How about a foil one? That'd be great. Not going to happen. Not with us already getting two foil rares. But here's a foil didn't say please. And a foil, I'm sorry, and a rare Faberro Elder. I messed that up, didn't I? No specials. Hope y'all are excited for the exotic MTGs, 31 Days of Christmas. It's coming, and it's coming quick. You can... Oh, once upon a time. What did I just say a pack ago? What did I just say? This is just further proof, right? Um, so I'll actually put the link down below. By the way, great card, once upon a time. Uh, I'll put the link down below, and essentially, you can, uh, you can enter now. Um... You can enter now on getting your entry done for winning one of the days in December. If you don't know what the 31 days of Christmas is, well, let me tell you right now as we just kind of go over that we have a foil swamp. It's been a while since we've had a foil basic. Uh, essentially, we have 31 content creators signed up to do 31 videos, one video each day in December, where we all pick a winner from that entry list that I told you to enter from. And uh, you have the chance to win from a random content creator. If you don't win on December 1st, you have a chance to win on December 2nd, and so on and so forth. So make sure you enter to win, because you might win amazing loot like the Cauldron of Eternity, another mythic. All we need now is Oko, and we're really doing well. As far as the total value from this box, I think we're going to do pretty well, if we can get Oko especially. Torbrand. Love this dude. Great in mono red. Really, really good on arena. Fast decks for sure. Turn fours that hurt really bad. And here's a Fervent Champion. Another great card in those mono red decks. No specials. Can we get an Oko? We want at least four Mythics, don't we? We don't want a three mythic booster box. That's not cool. A foil steel gaze griffin and a escape the wilds. Escape to the wilds, I should say. We have a chance to snag one more mythic. Odds look good. Here is a black lace paragon followed by three non-specials. Which is Vengeance. We've got three packs left to get our Oko. He's the big hitter. And we missed, again, Thrill of Possibility Foil. 
And we got a Lich Mirror Serpent, no specials. Come on, baby. Oaths War Knight, not terrible. No specials. Last chance, can we get a fourth Mythic? I know the Booster Box Club is just biting their nails, hoping for Oko. No, but a Fae of Wishes, it's not terrible. But we missed on Oko in box number one. But hey, we had a good box. I don't know. What's the total? Ed, editor, give us a total in the top right here. Thank you for joining us on this Booster Box Club episode one of two this month. Uh, we did get a, a foil special bordered. It is just a common, though. We did get a couple rares in the special border era. Love Struck Beast and Fae of Wishes. And apparently you don't get special borders in the common slot. Because I would assume statistically that we would have had one by now. And we don't. So we missed on, you know what else? We, we missed on the Mythic Sword. What is it? Ember Sword or something like that. That thing's pretty good, right? It was part of the uh, Arena Champion deck. Mythic Champions deck. So that's a disappointment to not get any of those. But we did get three pretty sweet mythics. Raisin Borrower, Questing Beast, which is probably the biggest price card that we got. And then the Cauldron of Eternity. Again, the total of the booster box was shown. What kind of foils did we get here? Got two foil rares, right? Yes, we did. There you go. Thank you, Booster Box Club, for all the support. And we look forward to adding more to that Booster Box Club list. Love, peace, and hair grease. Bye.